with all the talk of Natalie Portman taking over Thor and, you know, the whole Lady Thor, Mighty Thor thing, it got me thinking from a story standpoint, if I understand the comics and how the movies also, how the movies wrote Thor and how the comics wrote Thor, pro- Thor properly, they really should have introduced Jane in Endgame. Hear me out before you just click on Mac dislike and tell me how big of an asshole I am. In the comics, Thor makes sense when they gave her to J- get the power to Jane because Thor isn't Thor. He's some doctor named David whatever. And when David takes the hammer, he becomes Thor. So that means anybody who holds the hammer who's worthy enough will get Thor's powers. But in the movies, Thor is just the god Thor. And only worthy people can use the hammer... But Thor is the god of thunder, and that's his power. And that's why his father even said, are you the god of hammers? See? Not with a hammer. What, are you the god of hammers? So, in reality, what they should have done is introduce this female Thor in Endgame as a part of the whole alternate storyline thing. Because they could have had Thor reach out for the hammer, him not be worthy, and it go directly to Jane, and she grab it, and now she's worthy of having the Thor hammer, and she gets her powers and everything. Because that would at least, from a story standpoint, make sense, because the hammer existed. Because in Ragnarok, the hammer was destroyed. So, how the hell does she get it? Was it more time travel shenanigans or some BS like that? Because in Endgame, they cited that the ha- the weapons are made on that dead star thing where uh, the little guy from Game of Thrones lives. And he makes them all. And it took Thor taking the power of a star to hit him to make the hammer that he got. Or the axe. So, what, Valkyrie takes her new lover, Jane, to Asgard, and not Asgard, to the star, and Valkyrie takes the full shot of the sun and then gives her lover to Hammer, but Thor was dying without the Hammer, so that means Valkyrie would have taken it first. It just seems really stupid, and I got to make a lot of changes to that comic story it did of her to make it make any sense. Once again, about the time-traveling shenanigans, I don't really think it's going to work. As always, like, dislike... Oh, and the whole thing about her getting Thor's powers is he has to be not worthy. In Endgame, they showed you that even though he is a fat, worthless drunk now, he's still worthy because the hammer still flew to him. So is he not worthy anymore for her to get all Thor's powers? Because, yeah, Cap was able to use the thunder and everything, but that's because it was able to channel Thor's power. Because, as Odin told Thor on it, on the land of the dead area, or whatever the fuck it was, the hammer just channels your power. You are the god of thunder. So, I don't mind the whole Jane Thor thing. But it has to make freaking sense. And from a writing standpoint, it's not going to make any sense. So, comment, don't comment, dislike, like, subscribe, unsubscribe. Because, hey, YouTube's still free at the moment. And, hey, have a good one.